Thank you, Max, for that question. Um, as you're aware, I've been involved in branding of uh, boutique hotels and hotel chains over many, many years. And uh, I'm often surprised that even in these sophisticated times, most people don't understand the concept of branding. Uh, branding is not about a logo. It's far more than that. And to, uh, to develop a brand is really to understand the product and to put that product out there in the right livery that everybody can instantly know what you're selling and basically connect with it one way or another. For example, uh, every single hotel has its own personality and identity. <laughs> and just like any person or individual, the identity or personality of a hotel has to be believable. For example, we're sitting at the beautiful oaks under the oak tree in Neutral Bay right now, and I'm sure if you looked at this personality you'd see a mature male, uh, conservative in certain ways, and it's that personality that has to be mapped that helps with all the advertising, uh, effective advertising, that this hotel or any hotel can produce. For example, uh, when I look at developing a brand, I usually do this by uh, mapping out the brand through the use of a device called a brand pyramid. And in that device we sit down and we work out what all the individual product attributes are of a establishment. Yes, and it's going to be uh, the alcohol it offers, the seating it has, the ga gaming machines it has, the entertainment it offers, the food it offers, all these types of things. Then we'll sit down and say, what are the actual benefits for the market of every single attribute? Now that's not the important area, the next area is the most vital. What are the emotional benefits that connect to each of those benefits? We sit down, we map those out. Then we look at the core values of the product vis-a-vis -vis the consumer group that is actually utilising the establishment. And it's through that mapping that we can work out what the core value and what the brand of any particular product is. Now, what that means is that uh, uh, when you give a brief to an artist, to a design team, to a marketing group, you've already worked out what your communication strategies are, what the personality of the brand is, what the salient features, features are, and through that you are getting much better quality advertising and connecting far better to your audience out in the marketplace. So, three tips in terms of branding. Firstly, map your product know what your product is uh, and, and build a brand pyramid if that helps you map that product out. Be true to the brand that you work out in all your advertising. Don't buy, try to be too clever. In other words, tell it how it is but understand what your brand is and reflect that brand in all your advertising messages. And thirdly, and most importantly, make sure that you understand the audience you have, what your audience wants, and choose the media that reaches them.